Today the theme of our lesson is first aid. You will be able to read the text, answer the questions, find words, complete the sentences. Check the words. Care means to protect someone or something. For example, this hospital provides good medical care. Victim means someone or something that has been hurt, damaged or killed or has suffered. For example, the man is a victim of the car accident. Unconscious means in the state of not being awake and not aware of things around you, especially as a result of a head injury. For example, the man was hit on the head by a stone and knocked unconscious. Casualty means a person injured or killed in a serious accident or war. For example, the lifeguard is helping the casualty to breathe. Recovery position means a safe lying position in which people should be put when they are unconscious so that they can continue to breathe. For example, the casualty was placed on his side in the recovery position and an ambulance was called. Adjust means to change something slightly to make it fit, work better or be more suitable. For example, when the man is unconscious, you shouldn't adjust the position of his head and neck. Choke means stop breathing because something is blocking your throat. For example, when the boy began choking, the girl tried to help him. Prevent means to stop something from happening or someone from doing something. For example, this recovery position prevents the man from choking. Airway means the way through the mouth and throat that carries air to the lungs. For example, this recovery position keeps the victim's airways open. Across the Curriculum 2F Exercise 1, page 26 First Aid First Aid is immediate simple medical care given to a victim of an accident or an illness before professional medical treatment can be given. First aid can save lives, but only if the person administering it knows what they are doing. It is based on the principle of the three Ps, prevent further injury, preserve life, and promote recovery. One of the most common situations at the scene of an accident is to find someone lying unconscious on the ground. In this instance, your priority is to call for the emergency services. Next, you must make sure that the area is safe for yourself and others. Check the casualty, and if they are breathing, try to put them in the recovery position, and do not adjust the position of their head and neck. The recovery position keeps the victim's airways open, and prevents them from choking while waiting for medical help. To place someone in the recovery position, follow the simple steps shown on the left. One. Put the hand nearest you above the victim's head as if they were waving. 2. Place the other arm across the chest. 3. Bend the victim's knee furthest from you into an upright position. 4. Roll the victim over towards you by pushing down gently on their knee. Your task is to answer the questions. 1. 
What is first aid? Two, what principle is it based on? Three, what should you first do if you see an unconscious person? Four, how can the recovery position help a victim? Let's compare the answers. One, first aid is medical care that is given to a victim before professional help arrives. Two, it is based on the principle of the three Ps, prevent further injury, preserve life and promote recovery. Three, if you see an unconscious person, you should call emergency services, make sure the area is safe, and move them into the recovery position so they can keep breathing. 4. The recovery position keeps the victim's airways open so they won't choke. Your task is to find words in the text which mean person who has been hurt, to maintain, case, to alter, softly. Let's check up. Person who has been hurt is a victim or casualty. To maintain means keeps. Case means instance. To alter means adjust. Softly means gently. Your task is to fill in the words airway, casualty, aid, unconscious, upright. 1. There was a massive pile up, but luckily there was only one. 2. You must keep the victims open. 3. The man hit his head and fell. 4. If someone cuts their hand, hold it. 5. First can save lives. Let's check out the answers. 1. There was a massive pile up, but luckily there was only one casualty. 2. You must keep the victim's airway open. 3. The man hit his head and fell unconscious. 4. If someone cuts their hand, hold it upright. 5. First aid can save lives. Feedback. Write please what was easy and the lesson today, what was difficult and what was informative. Your home task is to prepare for summative assessment for unit, exercise and sport.